welcome to this new podcast episode so are you feeling stuck do you feel like nothing is working well for you in your life what exactly is blocking you if somebody took you right now and put you down sat you down and say hey tell me exactly how your life is going what would you like to see change where are you right now what would you say to them if this is the first time of for you coming to my podcast well welcome sit back relax take a seat i don't know drink your coffee because right now i'm not speaking just to speak i'm speaking to challenge your intellect i'm speaking to challenge your mind because this is a mindset podcast right we talk a little bit about everything relationship but mostly mindset and business and how to go from zero to hero how to become successful and you are the only person that can define your success right because success is relative what am i seeing what i might deem or see as successful might not be what you deem or see as successful right some people just getting one million dollar in their bank account hey they achieve success and some people are like no i'm going for the billion and some people are like, i'm going for 50 100 so if that is the case man sit back relax because you are on the right show and today i'm going to try my best to tell you the enemies of success right enemies of success things that might be stopping you from becoming that dog that ultimate warrior that you are seeking to become so without having to waste any time let's talk about enemy of success so i asked you a question at the beginning of the show where are you right now what are you seeing yourself what are you doing to improve your life like are you stuck right and uh as far as enemy of success the first thing i would like to talk about is the comfort zone people are way too comfortable with where they are like way too comfortable you see uh, i heard i read this statistic that says that 80 percent of people really don't want to change right you ever ask somebody like hey how's your life like, you know, oh, it's okay i can't complain you know yeah, i can't complain i'm a victim of that sometimes i always say that i cannot complain because my not being able to complain is just to show that i'm thankful for what god has given me that doesn't mean i don't want to change that doesn't mean i don't want to be successful so the number one thing is people don't want to change they are comfortable with where they are is that you if you are comfortable with where you are you must know this you have to do uncomfortable things in order for you to be successful you cannot be comfortable success is not comfortable it has to be uncomfortable you have to make your uncomfortable become comfortable you see what i'm saying you always have to seek new challenge and for all of you guys that are out there and say what is this guy talking about well have you ever seen people that have stuck like ever since they moved i don't know to colorado uh i don't know new york california all those big states and maybe texas you will say hey like i feel like by moving here you will improve your life you will make way more money and you uh, you know you'll be able to take care of your family and the housing is affordable and they say mm, no nah, i'm comfortable with where i am at you ever encounter those type of people are you those type of people because if you are comfortable with where you are you will never change and to illustrate my point i will go ahead and take this a uh, quick uh, story from the Bible. There was a man that you probably know or that you may have heard of. His name is or was Abraham. One day God came to this guy, to this prophet, Abraham, may peace be upon him, and he said to Abraham, Abraham, uh, for you to become successful and to go to the promised land, I need you to pack your stuff right now and leave. You know what Abraham replied? He didn't even think twice. He just said, say less. I mean, he didn't really say say less. But he just said, hey, God, much love. Thank you. Appreciate it. And he just started packing right away. And he left. And guess what was the result of that? He became rich. If you are too comfortable with where you are, if maybe, just maybe, maybe sometimes you are limited because of your environment you are too comfortable in your environment therefore you must sometimes change the environment in order for you to become successful 
what do I, would that apply in everything you want to do in life sometimes you just have to change the environment to become successful because the t sometimes not all the time but sometimes the land where you are is not the fertile land you must go to the fertile land in order for you to have nice crops good crops good cattle and things like that i'm just talking as far as the bible is concerned and for you today that is still relevant you might be stuck in new york somewhere where the house is it's like I don't know, five grand rent a month and you're wondering where all your money when in fact if you're doing the same job you might move to Texas or any other state and have a better standard of living and make the exact same amount of money you will have improved. People are also comfortable because they don't want to do the hardest things. Now I talk as far as comfortable being able to move but people are also comfortable that they don't want to do what it takes or what it requires to become successful. You have to be able to want to do what it takes and what is required. We don't do things just because we love them. We do things sometimes because it is required. It is required in order for us to achieve what we want to accomplish in life. Is that you? Are you comfortable? I repeat, are you comfortable? If you are comfortable, well, that is one thing that you need to change. Let's go on the second thing, right? another enemy of success people feel helpless what do i mean by that you ever encounter somebody that is always say oh i cannot do it i cannot do it i cannot do it that is what we call helplessness they always they pro they project that negativity on them that they cannot do something and therefore they cannot do it because you only go uh as far as your world you know at the beginning there was world you know and God said, let, let it be light. It's the same thing. <coughs> you can only go as far as your word allow you to. If you project yourself that you cannot do something, guess what? Who knows you better than you? Nobody. Only you know yourself. So if you say you cannot do it, then you cannot do it. And by using that type of language all the time, you become helpless. And therefore, you cannot improve. Therefore, that is an enemy of success. Most people even give up before even trying in life. I, like that is just boring. You at least have to try. What do you have to lose? It's like a salesperson saying that he's not going to go sell because people are going to say no to him. Like, yeah, they say no and then what? You move to the next door. One thing for sure is I'm not, if you have to knock on 100 door, there's going to be at least one yes. That is what you need to know. That is an enemy of success. Your attitude will determine your altitude. If you change your mindset today, you will become successful. So start working on your mindset. Don't become helpless. If you say you can do it, then nobody can stop it. You will be able to do it. Another path or another enemy of success is the path of least resistance. People are too easy, too easily uh, gullible. They want that get rich quick scheme. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. It always ends up catching up to you. You know, people don't want to make effort anymore. They are looking for, you know, easy way to achieve higher result. If you really, really, I mean really want to achieve your dreams, no, it won't be easy. Because success is not a straight line. You heard that before. Know that it won't be easy. Because, I repeat, because nothing worthwhile can be achieved easily without struggle. A lot of people are not willing to take that next step. Nothing easily achievable can be achieved without going through struggle. You have to sweat, man. That is just the reality in life. You have to sweat. But now, I have another podcast episode about that and we can talk about it later because, you see, what has happened through our whole life is that we have been brainwashed. We have been brainwashed to think that the harder you work, the more money you win. No, that is not what I'm saying here. But, if you already put your mind into doing something, let's say you want to write a song, then do it. Don't just stop because it became hard or it becomes hard. Just go ahead and do it. That's what I'm talking about. If you already set your mind on something, you are going to do it. 
don't think it's going to be easy no you have to just go out there and do it that is what i'm talking about don't get it confused with oh you have to work hard that is not what i'm saying i'm saying you have to struggle and if you give up you will never be able to achieve your dream that is what i am saying you see i have a little bit of a story to tell you why sometimes the change of environment is required you know there's this little boy right a little boy let, let's call him a little peter peter is growing up his snake you know a lot of people like growing snake these days in cages and uh, putting it around their neck and things like that so there's this little boy growing his snake in a small cage and the snake started growing 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 and at one point the snake just stopped and the snake was still in the same cage and he was wondering and he went and asked his mom he said mom it's been like a while now my snake is not getting bigger what is going on and his mom said uh well are you feeding him correctly he said yes and she said if you keep that snake in a small cage and you want him to grow how is he supposed to grow where is he going to fit the snake is adapting or adapting himself to the environment that you are putting him in let that sink in for a second the snake is adapting himself to the environment you are putting him in if you change that environment and make a bigger cage that snake is going to become bigger because now he has what flexibility he has a bigger room to grow if you want to grow if you want to become successful number one you have to get out of your comfort zone number two you have to say i can instead of saying i cannot do it so you cannot feel helpless number three is you cannot think that by taking the path of least resistance you are going to become successful and number four is your environment what do i mean by your environment the people they say you are the average of the five people you hang out with so if you are hanging out with I won't call your friend bunk, but if you are hanging out with bunk, people that are negative, they naysay, they, they don't have anything instructive to tell you or anything that is going to allow you to grow. How do you expect to grow? Because to grow your mind, you must hang out with people that are smarter than you or that have gone through the same struggle that you are going through right now. Change your environment. Change the people you hang out with. And it will start it will be if you might not be successful at the beginning but you will eventually become successful because what you will grow your mind your mindset is going to change if you are driving a corolla don't stop next to somebody that has a corolla like you i mean toyota corolla don't stop next to him hang out with somebody that has a lamborghini, a lamborghini or like that has a i don't know a, a mercedes or that has like a tesla something that is expensive why because they have they probably know something about making money that you don't know yet and that you are seeking change your environment and uh, change your environment today and you will become successful thank you god bless peace